Hey guys and welcome back to scripting tutorials. So this time we have tutorial number one on expert series and this tutorial will be about run service. So first uh, thing, well you might ask what is a run service? So that's a service that uh, well, runs your game. Um, I think not only on the client but also on the server. And it has a couple cool functions and events. Well, obviously, property too, but uh, they all are um, standard ones. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, um, I'm just gonna create like a variable on run SVC, um, something like this one. And I made this video before, but it was like messed up a bit and uh, things went wrong. So I'm gonna make it again, that's the script, and uh, today we are gonna make, um, uh, or I already made, uh, like, FPS counter on Roblox, because Roblox doesn't have this by default, you know. So it will be like Steam, uh, like the one you can have on Steam, which is high contrast one. So it's pretty much the same. Um, and uh, I'm gonna leave this as a free model and without further um, things let's get started so um, run service has um, functions that all are standard ones like those on destroy and stuff and uh, it also has some um, unique ones uh, for run service specifically uh, for example bind to render step so what this font does, it takes its name, um, priority and function that you want to bind. So um, I know how to name it, like um, run uh, stuff, or something like that. And then comma like priority one because it's the only one. Um, you can bind more functions, I guess. So um, the third one would be function well, that's the function and you can I uh, know apply anything you want for example print um high or I know um one frame best or not best best I know write something you want and it will um print this or run this function every single frame so yeah, that's what step means, it just fires every single frame. And uh, it also, uh, there's also event, which are maybe three events that are similar to this one. Or do you do? I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna talk about this later. Now another function is, uh, hmm, it has a lot of functions, at least quite a few. And uh, one of them would be um, is client. Well, I forgot to call it. Is um, client uh, like that? And uh, you would use this on like if statement maybe. Uh, like uh, there is a function called is a and uh, some class name. Of course, not on this thing, but. Um, that is a function would be used on part so this would be used on script if script is running on client or on server do stuff you know so yeah and um, there are more uh, functions that are similar to it for example if um, is the server the studio and um, they are really self-explanatory um, uh, also, is run mode, is running, is server studio, I told you those ones. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now let's get to more interesting things. Well, there is, uh, well, unbind from render step um, to unbind the, unbind the function uh, that you don't want to run anymore and it only needs its name. So before it was, I'm sure run um, with capital R um, stuff like that and it would remove it or not stuff stuff yeah now let's go to the events so there are uh, I'm sure three events 
So first one would be heartbeat. Um, wait. Again, it sometimes shows me that suggestion bar, sometimes doesn't. Weird. Um, so I'm gonna write manually like that, and then uh, of course you would write column connect or not that connect and uh, function. Oops, accidentally added the breakpoint. Weird. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's the function and I made it right here, you know, so I can just uncomment this, but first I need to explain, so Heartbeat is like that bind to uh, render step function, which binds other functions to uh, this, uh, um, well, step, render step, and uh, yeah, it does pretty much the same thing, this event fires every single frame, depending on how many frames you have and it's uh, argument step as you can see here um, I can just, uh, just write it again step um, it's the time how much uh, uh, how much time it took for the frame to be processed and displayed on your screen so this will, will be like a number with um, 15 decimal places also known as double so um, this is how you make um, that uh, FPS counter but uh, I'll get to this later so uh, another thing is well uh, it would definitely show an error if I didn't delete this thing so um, another thing is render step and um, I don't really see the difference between heartbeat and render step, maybe it is, um, if there is one uh, you can write in the comments, I would uh, be glad to hear it, and uh, I, you will write again connect uh, function, obviously, which um, is this function, you know, and I talked about connect um, or just events in some previous tutorials so you can watch you can watch it um, so in the step it also fires kind of approximately um, 60 times a second which means 60 frames a second you know and its argument is also step or no, well the same argument as heartbeat and another um, the, the last event is stepped just stepped so it has two arguments um, first is time uh, it took for it to process it I guess and another one is step so um, time or maybe not time because it's occupied so um, you know how to call it um, or maybe seconds or something like that um, seconds and comma step like that and we can just print those two arguments print um, seconds um, and then um, this um, this this and uh, this and step and we should know how, what are those arguments and what's the difference. So yeah, as you can see, first one is um, time, I suppose, because it's changing, you know. It's, it's uh, well, run time. Um, I'm pretty sure, no pun intended. Um, so the t it's the time that uh, your um, screen view is running or the service is running on, well, client server. I don't, I'm not sure if it matters so yeah it's like 30 seconds and uh, this is the time well step uh, time it takes to process well frame so you can just um, create a PS counter like that and I'm sure um, any any of those events would work I think so now if I when I explained everything I can just uncomment this thing, so and obviously explain. So uncomment and uh, hmm, 
first thing we need count. And the reason why we need count is because uh, this fires every single frame, like approximately 60 frames a second. Well, depends on your frame rate. So this would uh, be really fast and you hardly would see the number because it's changing too fast. So we want to slow this down. So if count, well, count equals equal zero because it will throw an error. Unknown global or warn unknown global count, and that would be bad. So if count, um, this is uh, uh, this thing is called modulus, I think, and uh, or maybe something like that. Um, it uh, uh, takes number, right, and then returns its uh, remi reminder when you divide it by this number. If its reminder is equal to 1 or any other number which is uh, less than 10 and uh, more than 0 would work and uh, now later we increase it so if yes we make another variable so you can use map.floor or map.seal it wouldn't make that much of a difference and uh, we divide 1 by um, this small well, step time it, process, uh, it takes to process so yeah now and then lastly we change the text um, fps which is this you know, um, uh, organized um, number which doesn't have that many um, those decimal places we just um, make like that and um, it um, just makes a nice number and you can see it clearly right so that's the fps count you can uh, reposition it if you want but i think uh, well maybe you can remove this top bar and then put it like here or something like that but more. so as you can see i have like those fps's are just you know, fluctuating quite a bit but uh, that was the tutorial. I think it was a um, pretty short one, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I don't have to tell you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, and goodbye.